Well, good morning, Lakeside. It is another, it's time for another Wednesday in the Word, and I'm just excited to be with Isaac this morning. If you don't know Isaac, Isaac Devoloy, he uh, finished an internship at the end of this last year with us, and we just enjoyed having you as our intern. It was, it was a lot of fun and, yep. and those things. And, and right now, he's still, him and his wife, Kayla, they're still working with our senior high youth, and it's just been a blessing, I know, to that group. I know to my kids personally as well. Uh, you've been a blessing to them. And so I'm excited to be with you, you you today. And I wanted to have somebody come in who works with our youth because I know as I was talking to Pastor Tony that you all have as leaders have been encouraging our youth to join us in the F260 New Testament plan. And I, that's just really exciting to me. I know I've had good discussions with my kids at home about the F260 plan and about the New Testament. They're reading for, through Luke right now as well. And it's just been a blessing to me. So I thought I'd bring you on for a Wednesday in the Word and let us know what you've been learning through this reading plan yeah. so far. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I've i been getting a lot out of it. It's been nice to have a routine in the morning, just getting soaked in the Word mm -hmm. right away. And you know, a full chapter is a great amount. You know, there's always something that, that sticks out right away. And, and going through with the here journaling method is really great for study, for mm -hmm. that in-depth study. So I, the, the here journal, uh, I had a few days ago, I think it was last week, Luke chapter four, I, mm -hmm. I, uh, highlighted verses one through 13. Um, and that's where Jesus w was tempted in the, in the wilderness. Um, and so when I was writing that out in my journal, you know, I, I kind of was studying that a little bit and going back to Genesis, you could mm -hmm. see kind of a, a contrast there, yeah. a comparison that when Jesus was tempted by, by the devil, you know, it was kind of the same way that, that the devil tempted Adam yeah. as well. And so yep. I was thinking, yep. well, Jesus is the true and better you know, something always, right? Mm -hmm. And so he was the true and better Adam because yep. he Absolutely. was able to fulfill the law and he was never tempted. Uh, he was he was tempted, but he was never, he never gave into that temptation. Right. And yep. so I was, you know, reminded he was almost tempted in the same way as Adam there, but but I can remember that that Christ lives in me and uh, mm -hmm. that he is able to, to stand up that temptation. Yeah. He's able to resist the devil. And so I can remember that, you know, applying it to myself through the Hear Journal method, mm -hmm. applying it, you know, that, that Christ lives in me and, and I have, you know, the yeah. power of Christ in me because I've been redeemed yeah. by his blood. And so, uh, so I don't have to, to worry when those temptations come because Christ has fulfilled the law and I, and I trusted him. And so when I prayed that day, you know, I, I prayed that out loud, yeah. you know, and I wrote that down that, that Christ is in me and I can stand up to temptation and, and yeah. he has fought off every temptation. So. Yeah, that's good. And I yeah. really appreciate, you know, Christ used scripture to fight the right. Satan uh, with the exactly. temptation. And that's, you know, that comes from being saturated in the word yeah. for us. And, and that's what we're trying to do with this, uh, with the reading plan this year. Yeah. So thanks for sharing that. That, that is sure. really good. And as I said, I, I'm just really excited about our youth being able to join us in our F260 reading plan this year and yeah. come alongside us with that. And so uh, hopefully we can be an encouragement to them. They can be an encouragement to us. And it'll just be really good. And so I, I just want to encourage you, if you've watched this video and you heard from Isaac what he's been learning through the Word, I want to hear from you. We want to hear from you what you've been learning uh, from this F260 New Testament reading plan. And so take time today in the comment section and comment something that God's really pointed out to you uh, from, this, uh, from this reading plan. And so we're just looking forward to seeing what God's going to be doing this year. Is we're in week two right now, but we're really looking forward to what God's going to be doing in all of our lives as we seek to turn up the word in 2021. So we'll see you next week. Thank you.